Tonight, on Staten Radio, we look into a phenomenon that has some of our best minds over at the Staten Research Institute completely baffled. Later, we are joined by Chief Correspondent Tabuti out in the West City concerning the gypsy camp that has sprung up there. Then we will speak with Richard Barden, who is at the site of a new natural occurrence environmentalists are calling a jungle. So, first up tonight, on Tuesday morning, there was a terrorist attack on the statue of Sezanov near the city center. A crazed griefer had lobbed a bomb at the statue's right leg and nearly toppled the entire monument. Luckily, Stedden police apprehended the man before he could proceed with his diabolical plot. The man is now in custody in the Staten National Dungeon. In other news, construction of the new embassy building for Staten in the city of Skyrim has been completed. Citizens abroad will now have a place of shelter to go to, and those who might be trying to get a visa will have an office much closer to them. Now let's look at the event that has confused even the great Dr. Zukov. Apparently, the size of the world we all live in has actually doubled. Zukov's team has been working feverishly to find the cause of this rather abrupt change, but as of yet, have been entirely unsuccessful. Dr. Zukov joins us via telephone. Good evening, Mr. Zukov. Yes, yes, good evening, Sysnov. Alright, so, for our less scientifically inclined viewers, can you please describe exactly what has happened? Yes, yes, of course. Essentially, the atmosphere has raised itself to twice the height it was at just last week. Never before has something this crazy happened. I don't know what could have done it. Uh, was it the magic? Uh, I don't know. So is that the main cause being considered? Uh, magic? No, n no, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. We are men of science, not superstition. The leading hypothesis at the Institute now is that the blockagen ions have actually separated into their component parts of pixeline and shaderin. Such an event could have a catastrophic of, uh, effect uh, such as what we've seen. Should uh, people be afraid of this? Is there anything to be worried about at all? No, no idea, Zesnov. Uh, absolutely no idea. Z the way I look at it is, uh, if something bad was going to happen, it probably would have already happened. We're still alive, uh, so I wouldn't be too concerned. Alright, thank you for joining us tonight, Dr. Zukov. No problem, says no. You're listening to SPR, Stetton Public Radio. This broadcast is possible because of viewers like you and your generous cobblestone donations. Before we continue with our originally scheduled segment, there is breaking news from the NPC village east of the workers' district. Apparently, a large gray figure purportedly made out of stone has issued this statement to the local population. The golem was not able to be reached for further comment. What this being means to imply by this is currently unknown. Biologists have been uh, slightly concerned about this because the being's arrival has coincided with a steep drop-off of the wild zombie population in that area. Hopefully this does not lead to a new wave of activists protesting outside of the Capitol building like last time. All right, now we go to Richard Barden, our traveling correspondent currently at the location of a new natural formation being called a jungle. Richard? Yo, Roy. Hello, Zizno. Uh, I'm here at the site of the uh, so-called jungle. I'm not sure where the hell it came from, but uh, it's here now, eh? Huh? Oi, what's that? Oi, get off me, fucker! We appear to have lost connection to Richard, so we'll be rejoining him again shortly. Now we turn to Tabuti, who is currently reporting from outside of the West City. Tabuti? Good afternoon, Zenob. I'm here with you live at the outskirts of the West City. As you can imagine, there are plenty of repugnant structures consisting mainly of shacks. 
The problem with that is that they are six blocks away from the wall, and that's simply too close for comfort. Well, Tabuti, has the uh, city done anything about the gypsy shacks uh, near the wall? Uh, the SUPC uh, Staten Urban Planning Council was quick to take action by posting eviction notices in between the wall and the gypsy shacks, plainly stating that any structure must be at least 15 blocks away from the walls. Uh, did the uh, SUPC take any other measures? Uh, we've heard that they started to dig holes around the city? Uh, actually, within uh, one day of the eviction notice, the SUPC was quick to act as they started to dig a moat around the city, specifically targeting the gypsy camps in order to pressure them to leave the area. Why doesn't the city of Stettin simply allow these gypsies to settle inside the city just like everyone else? Uh, the city of Stettin would have allowed these gypsies to settle inside the city, but due to unsettling behavior, the city council decided to ban gypsies from the city due to their actions such as uh, stealing railroad tracks taking out blocks from structures and selling them for a profit, as well as uh, digging out the floor which did damage the city's infrastructure. Alright, well, uh, thank you, Correspondent Tabuti. Uh, okay, that's it for broadcast tonight. Uh, thanks for joining us, and see you all next time.